Hi guys, it's the 17th of February uh, 2013 and um, if you saw HHO11 um, you'll see that I've established that um, the um, re resistance of the water in the cell uh, reduces as the temperature increases and um, in a, an earlier video I showed you that the resistance of the cell um, or the apparent re resistance of the cell um, reduces as I work at higher voltages and what I want to do is just establish that uh, both of those statements are correct because what I'm concerned about is um, on my earlier test where I increase the voltage I would have been warming up the water and I want to make sure that um, uh, the elevated uh, temperature of the water uh, hasn't influenced um, that, uh, that graph that I showed you earlier, the, the one that relates um, cell resistance versus cell voltage. So I've got no way of keeping this water at a constant temperature so what I'm going to do is do a very quick check uh, uh, at a voltage um, and hopefully not uh, elevate the temperature too much in any one session. Um, I hope that makes sense but as I operate the cell, as I apply voltage to the cell, um, it, uh, the water does get warm. Um, only, only a little bit but what I'm going to do is log the temperature which I didn't do in the, uh, in the first uh, uh, tests but I want to uh, log the temperature and just confirm that um, uh, there is a change or not as the case may be um, uh, uh, you know, does the cell resistance change with voltage alone or was there some temperature influence uh, in there as well so anyway that's what uh, this video is going to be about well, quite some time has gone past and um, I've, I've gathered some data, but boy, it's been blooming difficult. Um, and I had to do a, a sort of retest as um, I didn't really get to grips with the first set of figures. And what I've done now, I've measured um, over um, 2.5 volts, sorry, getting this 2.5 volts up to 30 volts in uh, two and a half volt steps and um, the problem is that the the cell warms up so rapidly that it uh, it completely froze the figures so to uh, to get these uh, temperatures i've got them now uh, that i'm working um, the maximum temperature was 23.1 and the minimum temperature was 22.2 so i've got a delta t of uh, 0.9 degrees centigrade so at, at the maximum uh, temperature spread I've got across there the maximum difference is less than one degree and from the previous video you'll have seen that for every degree centigrade rise I'm getting about a half a degree sorry uh, about half an ohm fall in resistance um, so uh, Anyway, I'll put this in a graph, but it looks as though the um, that line is is not quite as it appeared, or that graph would not be quite as the first graph uh, that I showed you, where um, I was talking about the resistance of water, um, or the apparent resistance of water changing with the applied voltage. Um, there, uh, there is a, um, uh, a significant change, but it's largely at the low end. Uh, so this is, um, let's get this, this is uh, at um, 7.5 volts, I've got 16.6 ohms. At 5 volts, I've got 21.7 ohms. So I say I'll put that on a graph, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little test um, at uh, these low voltages I'll go down and then I'm going to call it a day on this particular trial and um, this um, uh, resistance 
versus um, voltage. Uh, although it's interesting, it's, it's a bit of a distraction from what I'm setting out to do with the cell. Being very interesting, um, much, much harder to get these figures than ever I anticipated. Um, let's say because I cannot hold the um, uh, cell at a constant temperature. Maybe what a trick would be to use a larger volume of water. Um, uh, but uh, let's say it, it's too much of a distraction. I'd be very interested to hear from anybody else that's uh, looking at this or wants to take up the challenge and run from it uh, from here. Um, so um, uh, there will be a, a curve uh, to this relationship, um, but I think the earlier work that I did, I think part of that curve must have been influenced by the fact that the water was warming up. Only fractionally, only a little bit, but it makes a significant difference to these readings. So, as uh, I say, I'll, I'll just investigate this uh, this lower bit, um, the, the lower voltages. As I said before, this uh, this project is getting more complicated uh, almost by the minute. Um, I want to do some low current readings and um, uh, the digital meters that I've got um, only resolve to uh, two decimal places. Um, uh, so I've uh, dragged out uh, my uh, AVOs. And um, I found it very difficult um, to get a sensible reading. And as I turned the voltage down, and um, it, it wasn't going down, and I noticed that the current readings were going negative. And um, I'll show you what's happening. I've got this meter connected across the cell, and uh, now I'm just going to put uh, 30 volts onto the cell, so that's full scale deflection there. And um, right, I've taken that off, and you see the voltage there. I'm just going to change the meter scale, so that's 10 volts, that's 3 volts now. I'm on the 3 volt range there, so 3 volts DC. And you'll see that the cell is holding a charge. So that's one and a half volts and what I found was I was trying to uh, lower the voltage on the power supply and uh, as I was turning the volts down I noticed that the current reading was going negative and um, so obviously that implies that the cell is actually trying to drive the power supply so that's just the um, the AVO uh, across the cell and um, say that cell is holding a, a little charge very very surprised about that as it's you know it, it's only um, two plates that are 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters um, with a, a one millimeter gap I say it's a 316 stainless steel and the water is out of my dehumidifier um, I, I want to uh, do some work uh, measuring the uh, the capacitance of uh, the cell, but um, uh, at this stage I'm just trying to understand the water. And boy, it uh, it is very complicated. So you can see there we're just at um, uh, just under a volt, and uh, this is an AVO eight and uh, the resistance of uh, the meter is uh, 20,000 ohms per volt. Um, so uh, that's the equivalent of having a 20k ohm uh, load across that cell. Um, so anyway, I'll, I'll try and get these low voltage checks done, but uh, say it is turning out to be vastly more complicated than I ever anticipated and uh, I don't know how much more energy <laughs> I'm going to put into uh, into this part of the test because I really want to get onto the interesting stuff. In fact I'm going to call a halt to this now because this is the voltage across the cell 
and that's just at one volt. I've switched it back on again and, uh, and watched it discharge to one volt. Now I'm actually going to short out the cell, so I'm shorting out the meter terminals in the cell. And right, so that's shorted out. Now, when I take the short circuit off, um, uh, this is 0.4 of a volt, and you see it climbing. Can you see that? It's So uh, uh, that's uh, 1 volt, and that's 0.5 now at the moment, or, or thereabouts. So I'm going to short it out. Okay, so that's taken it to zero. Now I've taken the short off, and that's gone up 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Okay, so 0.35, something like that. <laughs> so this is a really springy uh, capacitor. Um, most odd. I'm going to short it out again. Uh, just got a little crocodile clip that I'm... Uh, if I can show you that. I'm just going to short that out. Clip that across there. That's shorting the meter out. Disconnect that clip. Point one. Point two. So, uh, let's say I found I I couldn't adjust the power supply down at these low levels um, because the uh, the cell is uh, I don't know if it's acting like a capacitor or or like a battery. And say it it actually. Uh, you know that voltage is still climbing I think with a normal capacity you just short it out and it that's it the charge uh, largely stays gone <laughs> um, but uh, so I'm I'm going to make up the graphs that I've got so far and then I'm uh, or with the data that I've got so far and then I'm going to move on to something else probably look at spacing uh, next but um, boy, uh, is a bucket of water a bucket of worms or what? Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the feedback, guys. I'd appreciate it. Well, having seen that graph that I've just put on the screen um, uh, with that very sharp dog leg in it, uh, I realize I can't leave you with uh, a graph that's like that because it, it looks like an incomplete story. Um, so as much as I don't want to waste my time on this equally, I don't want to leave it looking like a job half done. So I am going to investigate the, the low voltage end and um, see what I get. So that's, that's what I'm going to do next. Bye bye.